It is over, folks. The news is broken, and yes, we know the port strike is done. And a lot of people wondering, well, you know, what's going on with TMF, Mo? Is it going to jump? Should it? Well, it didn't. It went up a teeny little bit, and I made moves. Folks, I told you exactly what I was going to do. And for those out there, oh, I can hear the trolls coming out with their dry cat food underneath their bridge. Mo, you sold! Of course I did, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. I'm not married, there's no ring on the finger, and of course I sold high, and now I get to buy in a little bit lower. At least the buy I did last night, I was able to get in much cheaper than when I sold. I sold in the 57s. I bought in the 55, so it was a 55.99, but still 55. Uh, so I got, I saved a lot of money, a lot of money, uh, between 10 and 20 thousand for that move. And if I had to buy in at 58 or higher, then it was a bad move. And so I did do a purchase yesterday. For those wondering, we're going to talk about a lot of this because the data coming out this morning is actually going to be big. I would say even bigger on TMF and TLT and some of the things we talked about. Uh, yeah, you can see exactly what's going on right there. Post uh, Port strike ends as workers agree to a tentative deal on wages and contract extension. That's it, family. That's what we were waiting for. And that's what I told everybody. I would get out of it because if the strike went on for weeks, TMF would have got absolutely pummeled down into the 40s. If the strike is over quickly, as I was hoping for, no one wants to see these strikes go on and affect the economy, everything. At that point, then I could move back in and most likely it would be lower anyways. And it is. It's exactly what I've been telling everybody. It is down to a T happen the way I predicted. Now, at this point, what do we got going on? Well, I got a lot of moves to make today and I'm pumped about it. Uh, for those that haven't done it, if you want to see all these moves and everything else, come on over and join the Discord. We have the first link right here. Once you click on that link, go to the site. You'll be in here. Pick your tier. You want to save 20%, and you can do an annual. You hit, uh, click Get Access, and very easily put in code MO, M-O-E, hit Apply. You're going to save 20% on your your subscription, that's it. That's the word I'm looking for. And then you're in. So <clears throat> by all means, join. You can get access to that. You're going to get access to a lot of different things. Uh, we got a lot of good things going on. I, I always like to share the trade wins in the Discord. I see some oxy calls in there making some bucks, 48%, 34%. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Nice little 29% up, 1400 dollars what do you got? Uh, thanks, Mo, for making me a believer. Yep, you got it. Sold all my TMA and bought some puts to recover. Worked out so far. And that was what they did yesterday. So they made some money back. Now we have what? Well, you got the you got the news broke, but anybody watching the after hours, it was slightly up, like a dime. And that's it. I was expecting more of a rally. So then it realized that we are waiting on the jobs number. So by the time you're watching this, all that will be out. TMF is going to be a mover up or down. Up or down. Keep that in mind. Uh, <clears throat> the slowdown for a few days at the docks. Obviously, that'll unwind in a week or two. Uh, maybe a little longer. I don't know. But good news for everybody. For your holiday shopping, prices should not be impacted at all. So there you go. All right, uh, Beach Bum, what do you got going on? 144% up for the Zim put. I heard you guys talking about that. A lot of money being made here. Ivan doing what Ivan does. Matthew stepping in with $400 win. Like I said, you guys can come and join us for a little over a buck a day. You can be a part of this. We got some good things going on in the Discord. And, of course, tons of chat, tons of tools in there for people. You can just come on over and check it out. All right, now... Uh, we talked about this. Let's get over to, uh, what do we got here? We want to get over and talk about what happened with TMF. And I do want to show you the chart here and get into it. So remember, over the five days, I ended up selling in the 57s. I ended up selling in here. It dropped down as I expected, and it would have continued down as I expected. If the strike went into the weekend, if it was open Monday, it would have been a just a monster drop 
And I want you to think about this. You don't think the government wanted this strike over? Think about what is happening. And I don't think people realize, but we are seeing the country absolutely faced with higher inflation if this strike goes on. And if there's higher inflation, you have stagflation, and you got a monster amount of issues out there that are going to face the economy and everything. So keep that in mind that I bet there was some big time pressure, big time pressure put on both sides to get this thing done or at least do an extension. Because if, the, if inflation goes up, the Fed's job's not done. We have a reignition of inflation. You have the 70s all over again. And it's going to lead to uh, so many more hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people losing their job that they didn't need to. That's what literally would have happened. And as you can see here, the deal extends to, Ju to January 15th. So it seems like they're tentative. They want to iron out the details, have the members back in and everything and worked out in full agreement and is ratified by rank and file. So that's it. The deal's done. Uh, I know somebody said, well, it's only extended to the 15th. Yeah, but it seems like at this point they are in agreement and they're just going to iron out the final details. And that's where we're at. If we got to a point where it wasn't finalized, we got to the January 15th and they're like, hey, we couldn't figure this out. And they go on strike again. I would sell all of my TMF and TLT again, once again. Because if you don't know what's going to happen and you already saw just in a single day and you can see they were pricing this in already i think here is where we would have kept running but the strike came in and they knew the strike was coming and so it got pushed down and then boom the strike happened they pushed us below the 50 ema and now the question becomes do we pop back into the bullish channel here and you can see this new channel changed directions and i don't have the answer until we get the job data and we see how the markets react Personally, I think that we would start to see a little bit of, a, you know, see it pushing up a little bit. And so I did make a major purchase last night in the after hours. And I started my DCAing back in much lower than I bought, got out at. And it saved me a good between ten and $20,000 for those wondering. And so I am pleased about that. But now I got to wait and see what I can get into it today. Because I gotta, uh, when I do the, some of the other trades today, we gotta see what the prices are. If it spikes up to 58 to $60 a share, well, then I'm gonna get hit for a little bit. If it's anywhere in the 57s down, I am fine. Uh, and so that's it. That's, that's the thing. And I'd rather, I'd rather always be safe because I know some people said, well, why didn't you just buy puts, uh, some put options on it, protect it? And I've done that in the past. Uh, this time I wasn't sure how long these strikes were going to go. And with that being said, you could do that, but the, the cost on how many I had, it was just cheaper to sell them, wait, go back in. It would actually be cheaper for me. And if I put that cost of the premiums in there, whoo, man, oh man, it could probably get up to 59 to 60 before it would actually look like a bad move. So, so far so good. I'm buying back in cheaper than I sold. And we're going to see where this goes from here but right now it's over the strike's done we're seeing good movement well at least a little teeny movement in the after hours last night i don't have it pulled up today to see what's going on but you guys will know as soon as the job numbers and all that good stuff come out today how things are if they come out hot like there's tons of jobs and uh unemployment's dropping well you're going to see some pressure on tmf continuing if they come out and say, we have more layoffs than expected, more joblessness, more of this, more and that, then you're going to see a TMF running because now you have a double catalyst, all right? So that's what we're kind of watching for at this particular moment in time. Like I said, if you want to join us over at the Discord, click that first link, come on over and join us, put in code MO to save 20%, and that is a limited time coupon. And of course, for those who have not done it, Get over there right now. We got the Moo Moo link, the second link down below. Huge opportunity. If you click that, and you have to click it, limited time only, 8.1%, 15 free stocks. Put in 100, you get five. Put in 1,000 or more, you get all 15. 
8.1% APY for any money you have sitting in there, uninvested cash for new users, three months, risk-free. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, take advantage of that before that expires as well. Family, that is it. I'm going to be making a ton of moves in the Discord. I am pumped for the day. we got a lot of cash ready to go, and we'll see where it goes. If you want to be a part of that, like I said, join with the first link down below, Code Mo. I'll see you over there.